Hello, everybody. It's time for some more Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. We've got the entire gang here. Let's roll around the horn. Jake Terrio, how's it going? I'm good. I'm I'm just ready to build my, my capitalist money sink utopia. <laughs> Kyle Bailey, how's it going? Doing good. Ready to get going on some uh, some new ventures in uh, Mars land, which is what I'm going to call the northern part of my Ooh, island. Ooh, I like that. Uh, William Yosefitz Crosby, how's it going? Hi, it's good. I make snow. Oh, that's so nice <laughs> for you. Um, you know what? That's enough of an intro. Let's kick it over to the game. Oh, y'all can't see that. Let's just uh, let me put the game up there and we'll keep playing. Um, so we, as promised, we have not done anything since our previous stream except for maybe we booted the server up about 10 minutes ago just to get everybody in here and working right so you lied <laughs> yeah it was for their own good can you imagine if we like broke the illusion how awful that would be <laughs> that would be awful who, who's the illusion who's, who believes in the illusion? stream mom does stream mom does um Okay, sorry, folks. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, I know what's going on. Maybe. There we go. Now you all can see the game. All right, so let's just do a quick... I'm going to do a real quick... Don't worry about it, guys. I'll handle it. This is uh, Will's train system from the entrance. So basically, you enter the park. There's a bunch of trains to take you to the various islands. So starting in the east, we have Will's uh, Snow Fortress area. Pretty good. Yay. Um, the southern end of the center island. We've got my tightly knit place here. It's just a hodgepodge, but I got spinning cops in the Italian police ride. Uh, northern end of the island, Jake's working on his second roller coaster, um, but he's got some great stuff. Oh, no, third roller coaster. Great stuff over there. Uh, Kyle, Did southern end of the island. Well, you got two water rides. That look, that's looking good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I I I made one way too small, and it gets backed up really quickly. And I made one pretty standard size, and it works nice. But I'm gonna. I need to get another coaster in there, and then I'm gonna work on Mars Land. Got it. Uh, we do have a request from you, from Zach. Can you do the pink accent lighting for this stream? E for me? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he would request that, but he did. Because it's possible. Uh, give me um, a second. That's just so specific. I, it is strangely specific. Here, hold on, let me see if I can. Hmm, trying to decide what type of. Oh, which which cart has mine? I want to do a mine cart roller coaster into a hill. Ian, did you not? Did you not do the ice cream? Gosh darn it, Ian. You didn't no. include the ice cream shop. So just to just to explain it, what happened is when I set up this scenario, you're only allowed to choose a maximum of 128 rides, attractions, and stalls that will be available in total before or after research. And it turns out even the car variants of some of the roller coasters count as multiple. So if a roller coaster has three different car types, it counts as three different rides in that selection. Mm. So the problem was I immediately tried to pick everything, and I couldn't. I couldn't even pick every single ride. So I had to go through. I made sure we have one of each and every single type of ride, I believe. But the stalls, I just, I only, I think I only picked a couple more than the defaults. Okay, let's see. Um, what am I doing here? I'm looking for a minecart ride. Um, how's it, how's it going, folks? Jake, how you been? Um, good. I've been. I bought um, Jet Lancer on the Switch, which I've been enjoying uh, a lot. Ooh, what's um, what's that? Is that the Wipeout type game? No, Jet Lancer is very. Um, it's like a, a Luftrausers inspired like arcade um, twin stick shooter. I guess you're a little airplane and you blow oh, a lot of stuff up. Nice. I don't know if I'm using the expression twin stick shooter correctly. <laughs> That's just something that came out of my mouth. That sounds good, though. Um, That's is fun. It, the soundtrack you know, is good. We had, a, we had a discussion the other day during the Neo Geo stream. For the top-down shooters, do you prefer... I'm assuming it's an infinite scrolling. I guess it's, it's top not top-down. It's a side-scroller. 
So, yeah, but like like an Igaruga style. Where it's always, it's an auto-scroller. showing. Huh? <laughs> it's an auto-scroller. Um, no. I'm not describing this well. Oh, it's okay. So the, so the question that we had was, for, for a game like 1942, Ikaruga the flight, the plane level of Gradius. Cuphead, Gradius, do you prefer it going left to right or bottom to top? Oh, uh, if I'm doing something with a, with an automated scrolling, I prefer left to right. Okay. I think I said, what did um, I say? Bottom to top? I think I said bottom to top. Uh, yeah. Will said left to right. There's a, re there's a really good um, uh, bullet hell kind of space game that i that i played a while back called steridin that is auto scrolling and it's left to right and it's it's pretty wild um what about you kyle which which preference do you have for games like that um i don't know if i've ever played or spent any meaningful time with games like that enough to form like a concrete opinion on them um i just beat red dead 2 like literally 15 minutes before we started so okay that was fun um i really like the story i mean it's rockstar's story stuff is normally pretty solid but i thought it was really well done i'm a huge fan of the first red dead so i was already like invested um but i am unfortunately playing through with a friend of mine the co-op version of uh dead space 3 and it's oh, nice. real bad <laughs> It is, it is not fun. And we started Halo 2 the other night as well, but it's, uh, Halo 2 is great. Dead Space 3 is not. It was, uh, it was rough. Just the first, like, 20 minutes. Oh, no. One of my rides has stopped. Will, have you played that oh, one yet? Because no. I, I, are you playing through the entire series or just a couple? Uh, the entire series. I'm on two right now. It's good. One, uh, one I beat again. It was either my third second or third time but <clears throat> man that game so there's like two sections that i would get rid of it if like someone uh told me to remaster the game but that game's like so perfect you said it's like a perfect tight eight hours mm -hmm. and it's great two i've never actually played the second one so uh one is really good two um <clears throat> two i made it like probably a third of the way in years ago and now um and it was too scary, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> and now I'm trying it again. And it's not as scary. Um, I think I've grown up. But it's still very scary. So, it's not too bad. And then, uh, other than that, I, uh, I started playing Kenshi today. Ooh, which that? is... It's like a... It's like the craziness of Dwarf Fortress slash cataclysm dark days ahead but 3d uh, so basically you're in this future society and you're a nobody and you just wander around and you can get enslaved and you can get captured and random people loot you and you just die and i was a robot for a little bit and then i got attacked by raiders and they cut off my legs so i had to crawl around for a while <laughs> um, and i couldn't find a repair kit so i kind of abandoned that guy but yeah game that sounds like I'm gonna, fun. i think i'm gonna stream it next week yeah it's super janky and, it, and it's it's like it's it's in early access still but uh there's a f somewhat popular youtube video that does a review of it and uh it was on sale finally so i bought it that's cool uh yeah boy I'm trying to think what have i been, uh, i'm still playing um uh assassin's creed Origins. Uh, Oranges. It's good. I'm starting to peter out a little bit on it, but I kind of want to at least finish the main story. I think I'm at least like two thirds or more of the way through, so I may just mainline the story now. But the problem is, I know that the main quests have like I don't want to say level gates, but they're like, oh, the next main quest is level 25, and you're only level 20 right now. So I still have to do the side stuff. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, just uh, install. <laughs> oh, that's tempting. Um, what else have I been playing? I've been getting back into some racing games a little bit. Because why not? Um, 
Wow, this sounds really boring, but the problem is I'm focusing so much on this roller coaster, I can't even think <laughs> of what I've been playing. Um, I don't know. I think I think that's kind of been it, but um, we do have some news we can talk about. The uh, couple pieces of news. Did we already talk about Any, Xbox? Anytime. I don't. I don't know what this is. If you're announcing <laughs> something. When was Xbox? Uh, did we already? Wasn't that last week? Xbox. Yeah, that was last week. But we haven't talked about it yet, right? Or did we? Did we? Oh, we talked about it on. It was th yeah. It was last Thursday morning because we live chatted it. Oh, that's that's right. That's right. Um. But anyways, let's talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Did anybody watch that stuff today? Yeah. I did not, um, but I'm a huge uh, fan already of that game. I really, really want to play it. The only problem is I don't have a PS4. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could just wait and like I three years and play it on PC. And it'll come out on PS5. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, or PC. <laughs> um, yeah, but it looks legit. Um, yeah, it looked pretty good from what I from what I saw. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch the thing live because I was working. So I just read some of the highlights and saw some some footage but yeah it definitely looks pretty pretty exciting um i saw someone explain it as like an assassin's creed before the new formula taking place in japan it kind of looked like but they had a whole system that you um instead of waypoints you ask the wind to show you which way to go you oh, like select the wind button that sounds that sounds fantastic because that's something i have a problem with with um, with Rockstar games, well, I mean, with a lot of open world games, but with Rockstar games, I, I feel like I have a more of an expectation for them, and they haven't really solved this problem, which is it's a problem I have with Red Dead One, it's a problem I have with Red Dead Two, it's still a problem I have with GTA, is that like you set a waypoint to go somewhere, and then about fifty percent of the time that you are heading to that point, you are staring at the corner of the screen, the mini map, like because you yeah. set a waypoint and it's telling you where to go you you're not looking at the game you're looking at a map so what i did in red dead one and i continue this tradition in most rockstar games is i will set a waypoint and i look at the map and i just figure out it, like how straight of a path i can do without following the waypoint mm -hmm. and then just go for it like if i have to go over a mountain i will just go over a mountain um but i tend i tend not to like stare at the the mini map as much mm -hmm. as i think maybe other people do but also the other thing that happened is halfway through red dead 2 i figured out that you can just turn the cinematic camera on if you have a waypoint and it'll just take you there so long as you hold a and it's yeah. like you could just sort of let it go um yeah which is not like fun i mean it's just like it's not like you're riding it's like you're watching a video of you riding mm -hmm. but it's also like you can do other stuff too so um i, I don't know i it's it's with open worlds especially like it's hard to make going from point a to point b if there's like five miles between them interesting so i don't know how i i don't know what you would do gameplay wise to fix that other than having fast traveling yeah yeah i think i think one of the things that breath of the wild did really really well is they didn't let you set they let you set waypoints but you did not have a gps turn by turn system and so you got so it was used. All visual. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got used to landmarks. So you're like, I'm heading towards that mountain. I know there's a forest between me and them. Let me head through this forest and try and keep the same direction. Oh, I popped out of the forest. Where's the mountain? It did a fantastic job of doing that. And it looks like Ghost of Tsushima is going to kind of do the same thing. Mm. Um, so I'm excited to see how that game is going to going to move the open world genre forward, especially because they're they're. I don't know what else has that studio done. Did they? What were the ones they did? The Punch. Punch. yeah, Sucker prototype. Punch. What's the one they did? Oh, I remember Prototype. <laughs> um, or is it, was that them? I think I don't think it's Prototype. I think it's the other series I'm thinking of that's just like Prototype. Oh, um, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was like a Sony series. Uh, I think they did uh, Infamous. Infamous. In yeah. in <clears throat> Infamous yeah. So maybe Second Son. So maybe they're not <laughs> new to open world games, but I'm still excited to see when a relatively fresh ish developer a developer that has not become stale in their own genre yet tackles tackles yeah. it hi stream mom uh, uh kyle i'm gonna build a walkway from your island to ian's because 
everyone on your island wants to go home and is <laughs> won't go on the train. I don't know how they can't go home. There's a because they can't very... go on the trains. Yeah, they won't go on the train what? if there's no. Yeah, because it's a ride. Yeah, they, uh, they don't view it as transport. Well. Okay, I was like, because I have like a lot of people here, and I was like, why are they? They're all milling about. I mean, they have plenty of food. People. I'm not starving them. They've got like 50 bathrooms. Here's the walkway. Okay. That's a lot of wall options. Uh, is the pink uh, mood lighting exactly what Zach wanted? Oh, yeah, Zach. Tell Kyle you like the pink mood lighting. <laughs> He needs this win right now. <laughs> I do. Oh, I need validation that my. Oh, oh, that's not bad. It's gonna be a little extreme, but let's see how extreme. My snow mountain is finished. What about um? <laughs> what about movies, TV? You guys been watching any anything? I am finishing up season six of Community. Um, mm -hmm. Just just wait just waiting on the movie, really. Uh, and then we watched, what did we watch on Netflix or something like that? I can't remember exactly what it was. It was real bad. It was a bad, very bad Netflix movie that just came out recently. Oh, The Wrong was... Missy? No, I think it was, wait, hold on. No, it was um, Extraction. I mean, oh. it wasn't, the action was good, but like With the story the... was just real bad. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Oh yeah, Karen like, wants to watch it. The, the the action was worth it because it was really really well done but everything apart from that was mm, I I would let's just say I wouldn't have done it that way I don't think I would have written it that way oh boy um, I watched I watched like I mentioned the the wrong Missy last night it's the latest Adam Sandler movie which normally I just completely ignore but <laughs> this one had Lauren Lapkus in it which uh, is a comedian that's on a couple comedy podcasts that I listen to. She's on them a lot, and she's she's hilarious. But she, if you look her up, you'll probably recognize her. She's like a very distinctive C-list or D-list actress. But every time she's put in a role, she's just like given like a side character meek person role. And in, in the wrong Missy, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer, but it, it feels like it's kind of weird because. Not to not, not to be mean, but she doesn't really deserve this status. But it felt like they brought her in like a Jim Carrey, and they're like, "Hey, do whatever you want in this movie, and just make sure it's over the top every single scene." And it's actually funny because she's so over the top in every single scene, and it's great. Um, that's the only reason I would recommend watching that movie is because she's hilarious in it. Um, Stream Mom's asking, "Why do the textures look different?" I don't know. Uh, we didn't do anything to the textures, unless Dude, you're they, talking about me. They look uh, the same to me. I was doing the underground view, because this roller coaster is underground. That could be me. Uh, what about uh, what about you, Will? You been watching anything? Uh, we watched. We're watching Community, so that's yes. going well. We watched Big Hero Six the other Ooh, day. Oh, I love Big Hero Six. Uh, a good one. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was a nice little movie. <clears throat> um. And uh, what else? I don't think much else. I um, I perfectly legally obtained a, uh, all seasons of Columbo, which I'm going to start watching through because I like me some Columbo. And um, there's something else. I can't remember what it was. Other than that, I've just been watching. I found a new YouTuber I like. So I'm watching a bunch of this, this guy's stuff. And then obviously I'm just watching a butt ton of giant bomb stuff. What's the YouTuber? What's the... Um, I can't think of his name. Yeah, That's the, why I didn't say what it was. What does but he do? He's the one who did the Ken, the Kenshi. He does video game reviews, and they're quite funny. Is um, he the one that dresses up like a Muppet? No, but he uses a picture of this Ugandan guy at the beginning of all his oh, videos. No. Oh, no. Um, but That's he's the one who bad. did the Kenshi review that made me want to play it. He actually did a Dwarf Fortress review... January 2019 that has like 2 million views wow. I was like oh wow so I was watching that got it that yeah competition sense. no he's funny mine had to be analytical because Jake's a jerk I'm sorry <laughs> I wrote it analytical 
Um, but yeah, not, not much else going on. Um, oh, I, I think I mentioned this on the stream the other day, but I watched the two uh, Dead Space movies. Um, the first mm -hmm. one being a Aftermath, which takes place before oh. Dead Space 1. It's not that bad. The animation is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, the original Clone Wars animation. Uh, oh. The 2003 Clone Wars. Um, That's a good I looked one. it up. It's not the same people, but real, it's kind of like quick, that. Is there a way to undo something? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I, don't know. I deleted my roller coaster by accident. <laughs> Oh, oh, you can't. Uh, yeah, you can't undo that. Oh, that's gone. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah. It's sacrifice to the. It wasn't God. good. That was is practice, you know. Jeez. Um. So yeah, aftermath was pretty good. Uh, it just felt sort of a TV show that I had been watching, kind of. And then, uh, sorry, downfall was good. Aftermath was the terrible one that had absolutely atrocious. 3d um so like the main story was 3d animation and then each character told a story and each of those was a different animation style and those were kind of cool but man the 3d was like it was like felt like 90s 3d love it that there was that um it. that cartoon network tv show about the kids at that like boarding school and then they would go into like the internet and it was 3d oh, no. in the oh, internet oh, ghost rider yeah. is it ghost rider or reboot Rider? Cy cyber chase <laughs> not cyber chase there's too many that it's it's uh, this is gonna but it was it was 2d animation and then it was 3d when they went into the oh johnny quest no not johnny quest not johnny uh, quest Cartoon. How dare you? Johnny Quest was 2D that went 3D whenever they went into the virtual world, though. Oh, the, the new I'm gonna look Johnny it up Quest? That's probably, Johnny Quest. It probably is Johnny Quest. Okay. I'm like 90% sure. There's an episode with like Medusa that really creeped me out when I was a kid. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe Will, could you Johnny. say Johnny Quest again? Johnny Quest? <laughs> Why do you say it? Like, it's, it's so slight when you're just like, Johnny Quest? I love some Johnny Quest. Jenny Quest? Um, uh oh. Cartoon at work. 2D slash 3D show. That's still gonna work. Tomorrow, what was the name of it? It was like a Japanese show, too. Oh, Gundam. <laughs> Zoids? Obviously. I did finish. Zoids. That, oh. that sounds familiar. I did finish uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, eighth, MSG 8th MS Team. Not bad. Uh, I think it's a little bit overrated, but but not bad as far as it goes. Um, plus, it's only like 12 episodes, which is nice. We're all so proud of you. Thanks, Daddy. Um, I've been watching Altered Carbon. Uh, the Anthony Mackie one or season one? Season one, because I hadn't watched it at all. Um, and you know... You know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, it's it's just like it's it's good cyberpunk. Like it knows the aesthetic it's going for and it nails it. Um, the story gets a little wonky at times, but I feel like the editing and the cinematography make it okay, if that makes sense. Um, so it's it's good. I like it. Daddy likey. Daddy approves. Um, oh no, how do I get? It? What else have I been watching? I, you know, I want to say... Maggie's been watching uh, Medici. Or Medici. You guys seen that? It's on Netflix. Uh, the f Yeah, she uh, the is three, three seasons. She watched the entire thing in about five days. And uh, she just... Uh, it was not that great, but she would just randomly burst into tears whenever somebody died. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm just going to let y'all do whatever you need to do for a while, okay? Guys, I remembered the show. What is it? And by remembered, I looked it up. Is it Pokemon? No, it's Code Lyoko. Digimon? Oh. oh, I definitely don't remember that. Code. Oh, really? 
Code Lyoko? Is that? I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty sure that's it was the terrible. cartoon with Ray Iacocca, or Lee Iacocca, right? I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Lee Iacocca Ford Motors. Yeah, I was about in, to uh... say I need to contact Ford and say, "Hey, guys, your brand's kind of in the dumps <laughs> right now. So let's uh, let's uh, I got an idea for a Saturday morning cartoon with Lee there. Iacocca. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Ian, go watch it. I'll kill you. No, I'm not watching that. Go on stream. Please. I got Gundam to watch. He's got gun kill. I actually I've been trying to uh, figure out which Gundam I'm gonna build next because I like Gundam. Um, I've been having I don't want to say trouble, but um, I ordered three a couple months ago and, and they're still not here. Only one of them <gasps> got here. I'm pretty sure they all ship from Japan, which I'm gonna stop. That's doing. why you gotta buy them from. I know. Um, I know. Choco Taco. Gonda Planet. No planet. Wonder Planet. I'm a little good. New put planet. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's too late. I'm gonna have to say goodbye. I like the energy that this. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> every <laughs> room. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. There's no music. I have to go over here for music. Okay, I started building a building around my, one of my rides, and it's way too much work. So to do that anymore. I never did that in this game because it was like it just became way too hard to see anything, you know. Way too much work. Yeah. Is anybody going on this ride? Four people have gone on this roller coaster. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna build a roller coaster now, folks. It's happening. Your first roller coasts? Oh my god, man! You made Holy a fantastic crap. There's mountain. There's so many. Wow, that looks great, buddy. Do you like it? Are you being are you serious? No, genuinely. I never did scenery because oh, I was you. bad at it, but I feel like I have to start doing it. Yeah, I, that feels good coming from you. You never compliment me. Yeah, I'm gonna take it back next. Because <laughs> you're a jerk. Seeking <laughs> validation. <laughs> Oh, this tunnel one's cool. Ooh, um, Daddy. Jake, how do you how do you test a roller coaster while it's how do you get the ghost cars? So while you're uh, in the build menu, yeah. sit, hold on, let me. I just need to the get blue into flag? the interface. So, yeah, the blue flag will oh, enable the ghost car. I feel like I'm, I'm such an idiot. No, don't say anything. It was all flooding back to me from <laughs> nine-year-old Jake in, in 2002. Hi, I'm Jake. Can I make a Bionicle roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Thanks, Geo It's only what? <laughs> it's only one year after Bionicle. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> incredibly interested at that point. <laughs> there was not yeah, enough yeah. oeuvre in the canon for me to become a mist. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. He, like, saw the first comic and was like, I'm going to wait for this to get bigger. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Comics didn't come out until. Oh, shut uh, up, Jake. <laughs> it's I'm like, just gonna keep. I'm gonna force you all to learn about this. It's that's like the, that's the whole. You bring it up, I will I talk about it. Part of me feels bad for making fun of you for this, but then you start feeding me more, and I'm like, I think I think he's into this. No, I'm a all bit. for it. Yeah, I am all for it. Oh boy, I'll feed the beast. I just, just feed it, please. <laughs> just feed it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but baby. <laughs> but baby. Keep on riding my motorcycle. I think I'm going to make like a, a water coaster because I, I feel like we're going to start running out of space. And so I don't want to use more land. I want to use more water next. What if I just build another railroad system that is just right next to yours and just has the exact same pathways <laughs> oh my God, I didn't we just shut up. up you did a thing that was so funny Ian what if I did a thing that was so funny <gasps> oh no oh this Will's bad Will's being a bad no bad Will 
What did you do there? Oh no, William. Actually, that's kind of cool. It looks nope. like there's an avalanche <laughs> going into the ocean. I like it. Nope, it's all gone. Excuse me. Oh, I made it even worse. <laughs> now there's just a giant hole in the ocean. <laughs> when does... is Tsushima... is it... no, it's not Tsushima. It's Tsushima? Yes, Tsushima. When is that? Is that two months away? Is that June seventeenth? July seventeenth. July seventeenth. Oh, there was the same day. Paper to Mario. Mario. How are you guys feeling about that one? I never got into Paper Mario, so I'm indifferent. Yeah, same as I want to play the old ones, but that's about it. Karen's excited though. So. <laughs> she should write something about it. Um. I think I've only played... Actually, I don't even... No, I, I don't think I have played a Paper Mario game. Now that I think about it, I don't think there was a Paper Mario game. <laughs> what is this? I think it was uh, an R a, a Mario RPG game. Oh. Because they're kind uh, of, kind of merged now. Mario RPG? No, this was for... I, I played uh, Mario and Luigi... Super Bowser Saga or Superstar Smash, whatever that is. And then I also played, I think this was on the 3DS. It wasn't Sticker Star. I think Sticker. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, alright. This stupid ride. Do you remember? Night of September. But timber. Keep it going. Bet. Love was changing the miles. Yeah. Love was changing. Oh, changing the miles? I don't know if that's accurate. Oh, I thought it was changing the mind. I don't actually. Nobody know. I think I You're broke Roller it. Coaster yeah. Tycoon. You bust it? Bust uh, it. Oh, no, never mind. Now it's starting. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. Bustin' makes me feel good. Can I change, can I change the speed of the, the, these boost blocks? Oh, I can. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, Stream Mom says the uh, theme park is coming along nicely. Thank you. Thanks, Stream Mom. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Oh, booster speed. What's the max booster speed? 134 miles per hour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got 1,100 guests, folks. We're doing good. Rating is up. Wow. Someone got off the monorail and immediately threw up. Wow. <laughs> it's an intense it's monorail. It's not even going that fast. <laughs> should pick him up and throw him out of the park. <laughs> oh, two people threw up. What the heck? I don't like this monorail's doing loops. Okay, yeah, this ride's gonna murder people. <laughs> okay, I think I you know, maybe maybe I did break the game. So my my graph stops like three seconds into the ride and then it just goes to blank. Huh. That's annoying. Oh, Rides please. Money please. Whoa. Maybe I'll just open this up anyways. It's too extreme for y'all. Too extreme. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it. Put this one. Okay, alright, so once this guy's open, I'm gonna come around and do a quick tour to see what y'all's doing. Okay. Okay. This has a 16.52 intensity rating. Who's that? 
My chicken restaurant? No, my mine <laughs> <the monster. laughs> All right. Will, you've got... Oh, this is a beautiful little ski mountain. This looks really Thank good. Thank you. Wow. Thanks. I'm building a roller coaster right now. Underground. Oh, yeah. I see it. It goes under there. It's rather nice. Thanks. Uh, it's going to call be called Santa's Revenge. I approve. You can keep it. <laughs> Um, Thanks, babe. Jake, you finished your red roller coaster. Looks great. It did. It's very intense, so very few people have been riding it. Oh, this is your train car roller coaster. I want to see how fast it speeds up. Oh, I'm sorry. It's taxi cabs. Whoa! It doesn't... It says 134 miles per hour, but I don't believe it. Yeah, maybe if you had it longer? I don't know. That's pretty long already, though. Give it more time to... to get up to speed. I don't know. It feels like it hits max speed halfway through. In terms of, like, it doesn't start going faster. Looking yeah. great, though. Looking good. Thanks. Uh, ooh, Kyle, you got a nice monorail going on. Yeah, it's long, but I needed to bridge uh, Marsland and whatever the heck the water uh, portion yeah. is. Also, my uh, entire roller coaster is gone. And I was trying to put I was trying to put another ride underneath of it, and then tried to delete that ride and deleted the coaster. Oh. So and now I can't delete the. It's a golf course, but I can't like move it. It won't let me. Like oh, I can't even select it because nothing you, comes up. Because you deleted the ride, but you didn't delete the scenery. So you now, now you okay. got, you want me to get rid of it for you? Yeah. But, well, I would so just if go you do it. the um, the bulldozer icon in the top right. Mm-hmm. So you select that, and that should let you. Oh, and just start, like, going yeah. for it. because all of that counts as scenery. And then you'll have to delete okay. the paths with the path tool or something else. Um, gotcha. And then I would also recommend connecting the north and south parts of your island with a path as well, just because you know, that'll get you more guests for people yes. who don't want to take them on a rail. Um, How do I get rid of... I can't get rid of this stuff? If you use... The, like. You can either do the, the bulldozer and do a right click on it, or you can do the path tool and just kind of like click on the path and do the backwards trail. Still not. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right, you are gone. Looking great, folks. All right, I gotta add stuff for this merry-go-round. Lawsuit attractor has broken down. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> Probably. Stop telling me the roller coaster's in the way. I know it's in the way. The nice thing about not having any money or unlimited money is that one little landscaping mistake doesn't cost you millions of dollars. Yeah, that's that's true. That's a good point. Which I feel like always happens in the base game. Yeah. Man, we're too quiet. I know, but I know, we're, we're so focused. intensely focused on <laughs> just trying to build. All right. Let's see through rides again. Okay. Oops. Okay. Ooh, dumb. Looking real good. I think we're doing a great job, okay. folks. This is going to be a space-themed merry-go-round. Let's give this guy a test run. See what sort of intensity we're working with. Oh, my goodness. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's, it's going so fast. What's its velocity? Oh, my goodness. That is going fast. Not even registering a velocity, which I don't like. 
Guys, we got an award, the most beautiful park in the country. Well, it better be. Wow. Why are they lying to us? There's so much open land. <laughs> I might need to work on that. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's check the test results. Max speed, 73 miles an hour. Okay, so the launch thing lied to me. Uh, total air time, 8.13 seconds. Highest drop, 131 feet. Oh, but it gets up to almost 80 miles an hour. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fast. I feel like there's another piece of gaming news that I forgot. Oh, Unreal Engine 5. Did any of you see the uh, the demo? I did. I didn't no. watch it uh, with... I wasn't watching it too intensely. I was letting the game developers I follow tell me if it was good or not. Um, Kyle, what did you think? Uh, I mean, stuff like that always looks impressive. It's also, like not always true to real life because that that piece that they're using is super super optimized like to show mm -hmm. off exactly what they want to show off yeah. um i think it's i think it's going to be really useful just the way in the way that you know unreal engine 4 and 3 have all been useful and, and beautiful um I, again, like Sony, Sony did this when they came out with, I think, the PlayStation 4, where it was like th they put uh, Mark Cerny on stage or something like that. And he was like, look at the, you know, the detail that we can get. And they put some old character models, like like a character model of an, of an old man. They put his like face up and they were doing all sort of different dynamic lighting situations. Yeah. And you could see like, like you know, grains of, of like, you know dirt under you know in his the folds of his skin and everything and it's like that's really impressive you can't do that much detail while also rendering like a level like it's not going to happen with with the power of that system so it, it's sort of like disingenuous to some point but as far as just a showcase of you know what um i think some of the future advancements in in like graphical fidelity go I think I think it was a nice showcase, but it's also like we're just gonna have to wait and see what developers actually do with it. Yeah. Um. I think between that and Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice, it's definitely one of the one of the first. I don't want to say one of the first, but one of the few demos that's made me actually excited for next gen, even with the caveats that you mentioned. Because mm. I think for me, a lot of the next gen stuff is like. Okay, is it actually going to be... Is there actually going to be a noticeable jump in graphics? And I, I think with that one, they, they kind of showed, yes, there will be. And that, that felt great. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. Like, I get the stuff that they were doing with photo scanning uh, of environments, which they do now, by the way. Like, that's not some sort of yeah, huge... Yeah, definitely. Oh, thing. Had a lot no, no, of but just, yeah. just to be clear, what they were saying was normally you do, you do those photo scans or you do a ZBrush or a Blender model, and then you have to use a tool or in or using the engine tool downgrade it to the level that the engine will accept and run properly and what unreal engine 5 is doing is saying you import that photogrammetry file raw and the engine will take care of deciding what level to display it at so it's basically removing a middle step for artists right i'm, I'm just saying that it's not like a brand new technology no no, no it's, it's, it's just like a like an efficiency tool. Use. Yeah. Which is awesome. Like efficiency is like that's only going to help developers do more things and and implement more unique, you know, characteristics into their games, which is which is a good thing. That's, you know, development yeah. as far as that stuff is concerned is great. Um I'm just I'm always just wary of like anytime there's something new shown and it's you know, it's within, you know, it, its own environment and, and, you know, this specially made thing. It's like, well, not everyone who uses it is going to be able to do that or implement those things. So you just have to take everything with a grain of salt. Um, but I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always good to have like new stuff to try and kickstart new uh, creative ideas and, and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, definitely. Um... I think I think the lighting tech was pretty interesting because they were talking about how the um, 
they were showing how the normally lighting is baked into a level or at least has some very simple physics on it. Now you have ray tracing. You can kind of have dynamic lighting in a way, but what they were really showing was that... It's um, ray tracing. It's what the new it's RTX cool, cards do. It's like... No. It's like... <laughs> what? I got you, Jake. I got oh, you. Sorry. Thank you, Will. <laughs> oh, what is ray tracing? He said, no, who it's is ray tracing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. who's cool, ray tracing? <laughs> Mark Cerny. That's He's tracing Mark Cerny. He's, yeah. Um, but funny. they were showing... Um, how, how dynamic in real time it really is. So, for example, I, I don't know that they did a fantastic job of showing this in the demo because it still looks scripted, even though I trust them in saying it wasn't. But, like, you're walking through a cave and all of a sudden rocks fall from the ceiling and it creates a new hole of light. And so that shaft of light is being dynamically defined by the physics of the rocks falling, which is also being dynamically defined by the scene. So, basically, just, just super crazy efficient um lighting solutions on the fly and that 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 sounds great because that's when i start to think about um sorry i've hit this bug twice where my construction tool turns into a construction tool for a random game i mean a random ride like it just turned that into just a, happened to me it's weird maybe it's a maybe it's like a multiplayer bug is anybody building a haunted mansion I did, but that was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, they, they switched haunt to, straight to Haunted Mansion for me as well. Yeah, I wonder if that's... Anyways. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I, it's one of Do those... we have to add trash cans? Sorry. Yes. Do... Okay, I have not been doing that. Oh, uh, you just go in when you notice it's trashy and you go back and add them. Yeah. Like, I added them all to Ian's section, since it's majority excuse, trashy. Excuse me? <laughs> majority trashy. Did you say pejoratively trashy? Majority. That's a big word for you. You're a big word for me. Mm. <laughs> You're a big word for me. For you. Um. <laughs> you. I feel like I was going to say something, but then I forgot. <laughs> That's just been my whole evening. <laughs> I know, this game's too too arresting. It's already 9.47? Holy poop balls. Yeah, this is probably going to be... I think we did two and a half... Did we do an hour and a half or two hours last time? We did eight <laughs> hours last time. <laughs> I think we did like an hour and a half last time. That's fine by me. I got um, word this week that... Uh, You're fired. No, I'd be okay with that. Um, we got word this week that our our work from home order is being extended through July 31st. At wow. Minimum. Wow. And then I did a little bit of math and I realized since I started working from home basically like around March 13th that I'm not even halfway through yet. Mm. <laughs> so it's going to be. You just spoke a nightmare to me. Not to get depressing or anything, but I feel like my biggest thing is I don't exercise. So the only exercise I was getting was parking on the third floor of the parking garage at work. And then we work on the fifth floor. So I would only take the stairs. So I would probably climb like 20 flights of stairs per day. And that is not happening anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got to figure out how to exercise because I'm too lazy to do it. How about you guys? How y'all holding up? Don't be depressing. But how y'all holding up? I have actually been like loving it. Oh, that's I, good. I really right. enjoy working from home. So now my dog is going to be very unhappy when I have to go back to work. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think my cats are going to be the same way. Okay. I... Skype interface keeps getting in the way of my construction. I'm trying to figure out this roller coaster, but it's so hard to figure out where the problem is when wait, the graph's working again. Oh, it's right down there. Nope. Did not mean to do that. That's not terrible, but it's this guy. 
this guy. It's like I want to build roller coasters, but then I start a roller coaster, and it just takes up all of my energy and half the stream. You know. <laughs> Actually, it's been it's been interesting because I went back and after our last stream, I played some of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 campaign because I haven't played that since I was nine and and wasn't successful any of the times that I tried to do it then. Uh -huh. um, and I found that in my own trying to construct coasters, I was overcomplicating them. Um, like when I would go and look at like a real roller coaster, like a popular real roller coaster, they're all pretty simple in terms of like. Oh yeah, I can see that. Like slopes and turns, and yeah. they're not doing all the crazy kind of stuff that, you know, when you have limitless funds and can do whatever you want you tend to get crazier than you need to be. So I'm trying to, you can't tell from what I'm doing right here, right now, but I've, I've been trying to be a little more simple in my coaster layouts. I, um, I think one has a better campaign because it's progressive or progression based, mm -hmm. but I think some of the stuff in two is a lot cooler. But I one, like, I always liked the progression. I like three a lot um but part of that i think is because there were a lot of quality of life improvements in um the actual coaster builder um but it also had a progression based campaign um the build interface is just a lot easier to use okay I'm trying to build a stupid mountain call it mount stupid Mm. You want to say that to my face? <laughs> we, we're on Skype. I can't. The government says I can't. So he's already saying it to your face. If only we lived in Wisconsin. <laughs> Where we too can dress up in military cosplay and harass people. <laughs> yeah! We, we don't. You guys don't do that already? Uh, I mean, <laughs> not outside. <laughs> in my basement. <laughs> Okay, what the heck? Okay, can I open this thing? Why can't I open it? It took forever. No, it takes forever for the car to get all the way through the circuit. <sighs> oh my gosh, I cannot for some reason, get this stupid entrance to work. Observation tower broke down. Well, that might be mine. At some point, if somebody wants to do it, I don't want to do it. We could add patrols to all the mechanics and stuff so that they can actually Ooh. get places. No, no, that's I don't too want to much. Do that, yeah. <laughs> no, not worth it. But the problem is, I maxed out the number of staff we have, so we can't just hire a whole bunch. <laughs> I think it's fifty. Per that's okay. Yeah. I can see. I can see some handymen and some mechanics walking around the paths near my rides. They seem pretty. They seem to do pretty well at pathfinding. Um, well, I just mean in terms of having them nearby, so it doesn't take them forty minutes to get to a ride. <gasps> no. What's What's your problem, um, Kyle? Oh, I had to get the entrance figured out. Hold on. Let me see if um, I can do it again. The entrance yeah, or the path it was like to the entrance? The, the, well, the entrance itself was elevated, and I didn't uh, want it to be elevated, but I think it was part of the ride. I could move the entrance. I just couldn't. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. So do you know about the pathing tool that lets you... Um, was if you do a path tool straight. that that lets you build a path like it's a roller coaster where you're just going along and doing left right turns so it was this guy yeah that i had yeah so he's slightly elevated yeah i just don't know how to get so, the path so like I can okay make so go, the path so go, go into the up. path tool okay and then in the bottom right click the construct bridge or tunnel footpath yeah that's what i was doing and then click on the entrance uh, and that way you build from there oh. yeah that's much simpler yeah, that 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 helps out and stuff like that okay thank you 
is this still so extreme? Oh, I didn't check on my roller coaster. I thought oh, you I think I'm just gonna see it will. I just demolished my roller coaster because I got I saw that I saw that happen in I real just, time. I didn't want to <laughs> deal with it anymore, you know? <laughs> what is my roller coaster? I was ultra I was, extreme. I was, yes. <laughs> panning the camera over and I'm like, oh, there's a roller coaster sticking out of that mountain. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, my roller coaster is at ultra extreme. I shouldn't. I couldn't get mine below 14.39. Yeah. I forgot these mouse rides That's are cute, crazy. but they're the most dangerous ones, honestly. Because man, it's a dangerous game. What they give you is just like, oh, I'll just do like short turns everywhere, but you're just the lateral G's out the butthole. It's a bad place to do lateral cheese. Man. It's a mouse ride. They should call it lateral cheese. Hello. Gosh darn it. Uh, speaking of cheese, you guys pick up any any hobbies, etc. while you're... Or, like, refresh some hobbies of yours while you're uh, quarantined? I've done some painting. Some watercolor uh -huh. and oh, acrylic. That's cool. Uh, what about you, Will? Um, no, mostly model making still. Um, picked up Gundam a lot more, um, yeah. and then just like uh, I sit at my computer a lot more. Surprise, surprise! So I do a lot more, like random. I kind of just like browse wikis of like video game stuff. So done a lot more of that, of just like learning about games and checking wikis and seeing what developers made what, and all sorts of stuff. So well, that sounds like fun. Uh, what about you, Kyle? Uh, I recently got into mechanical keyboards. Ah. Uh, so I got my I got my first one. Um, it is a Vortex Race Three. It's very nice. It's a seventy-five percent keyboard. Um, other than that, I don't really have any. I've just been playing video games really because I haven't I haven't played video games this much since I was in like college. So it's been really oh, nice yeah. to sort of get get back into uh yeah that is nice. some old old habits um i i never really got into mechanical keyboards because i bought my ibm model m keyboard in like mm -hmm. like 2002 and knowing that no none of the modern mechanical keyboards have the same feel as that because like the mechanism is literally different has just made me not do mechanical keyboards <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's if if you've got one that you're already happy with the feel yeah. of, then like there's no need to change. And, and I don't need any of that feel. RGB nonsense or anything like that. No, mine is not RGB. My previous one was, but it, I bought it that way. Like it wasn't. It was just a Corsair keyboard. Oh yeah. Um, and I I realized after switching how like not just unnecessary it is, but how like distracting it is sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy now that I just have like a plain uh, normal keyboard. Yeah, my mouse has RGB and I immediately turned it off as soon as I installed it. <laughs> I, was, I don't. Yeah, I don't same with mine. I, so. I don't mind the light on my mouse because my hand is over it most of the time. Um, but I don't know. It to each their own. I um I ordered new keycaps uh, because I I like I want to get a different mechanical keyboard, but I like the one I have. And I've always wanted to get the Godspeed keycaps because they look so cool, which are like the NASA E ones. Oh yeah. But then there was this, uh, formerly known as Mass Drop. Yes. Drop. Um, <laughs> what are they now? They're Drop now. Oh. Which is funny because I remember when they, when they very first started being a thing. Um, so I, I went on there because I was just looking for some keycaps, and they had these neat ones that i spent way too much money on and they won't come till like august but they do the cool thing i guess there's like some sort of shoe brand that the kids wear these days that does a similar thing but it says like it like everything's labeled out like it like it says space bar but almost in the way um like the government would label food in like a storage room oh, you know that yeah, sort I of style it's called it's like oh like like it says like standard issue space bar on it and like stuff like that so i thought it was cool it's pretty neato um so yeah anyways um, it's a roundabout way of saying it 
I do like I do like the idea of replaceable keycaps. Mine doesn't. Well, mine I can't take the keycaps off, but they don't really sell the standard ones. And then mine also doesn't have um, doesn't have the Windows key, so I had to reg edit my um, caps lock into the Windows key, which works. But the problem is, whenever I use a non, whenever I use a computer other than my main computer, um, I like keep hitting caps lock because I think it's the Windows key. Um, wow. And it's not USB either, which isn't a problem right now. I still have PS2 on my motherboard. But I do know that that's going to become a problem in the future. So my motherboard BIOS does not recognize anything but PS2 uh, inputs. So for the life, for oh, like the entire life I've weird. had this thing, I couldn't, I couldn't edit anything in the BIOS until I got a PS2 mouse. Um, it it used to work like when I first got it, it when something happened and it stopped working I've turned on like legacy USB stuff in the BIOS using the PS2 thing and it still doesn't work so I don't know what the heck is up with that but it was super annoying and I had to contact Gigabyte and they it was actually this guy on Reddit suggested it and I was like maybe that would work he was like it's the only thing that will possibly work and it did that's but so it's, weird though it's real dumb so now whenever I have to make changes to the BIOS, I have to go into my closet and get my stupid wired mouse. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. Plug, and plug it in. Um, the crazy thing is, uh, so IBM doesn't make these keyboards anymore, but they sold the, the patent and the schematics to a company called Unicomp. And as far as I can tell, all they do is make brand new IBM Model M keyboards to the specification but they're USB and they have a Windows key and they sell a 120 key variant that has like a like an F1 through F24 keys at the top, which is bonkers. Mm. So I, I've been putting it off for years, but I think eventually I'm gonna buy one of those because they, they do have them on Amazon. The only problem is they're in black instead of gray and I don't really care for the black look. Um, Jake, what about you? Any hobbies you've been getting into? Now that you got uh, quarantine time, I don't know how well you can maybe see it. Oh yeah, the, you said painting. Oh, that looks nice. Is that blood? <laughs> <laughs> it actually yeah. does look blood, like 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 it's blood All on the an axe. All the people that have come to the apartment or to the house that have just been uh, oh. put on the canvas. Well, I mean, they're getting flattened out between pieces of cardboard right now. Um, I've been. Well, I've been doing this for a while, but I've been I've been getting more into cooking just because I've got more time. So I've been doing bread. And uh, after you played that illegal cooking mama game, you just got the <laughs> you caught a wild hair. Oh man, that game was great. It had a real wonky Instagram filter function. That was pretty pretty crazy. I saw. I watched the stream after the fact. Wow! I know. Hey, Will, we got one viewer. Hey oh. <laughs> Actually, I think Streamlight was watching that one, too. Um, that was funny. Thanks. I've worked on that one a lot. Yeah, the way you went, wow, seems so real. <laughs> it was real, Will. It was real. All right, I'm taking... Oh, Mars Land looks good. I'm getting there. Oh, I also just built a water ride, so we have competing <laughs> flumes. Iceland, who's building in Iceland? I built Iceland, and now I'm building Volcano Land. I like Iceland. Thanks. I'm making sure this roller coaster is not going to kill everyone. <laughs> not. That was. I had to heavily rebuild my Ferris wheels day off has broken down. Not going to kill oh. everyone. Yeah, well, I want people to come to the park. No, they can come to the park. They just can't leave the park. Good point. Okay, let's see if I made this better. 3.31 lateral G's? Where? Where's my lat G's? Where's my lat G's? I did not have enough. There's not enough characters in the custom uh, name thing for the rides. <laughs> I built a monster truck ride, and I was not able to call it Monster Trucks The Movie The Ride, so it's just Monster <laughs> Trucks The Movie Ride. 
What's Virginia oh, real boy. one? That's mine. I can't believe you would name it that. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about my Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I we said we weren't allowed to say that word, Ian. Oh, we was, had a meeting about it. I thought it was cotton. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what are you a person if you're against different countries? <laughs> no, that's what you said. I didn't say that. Yeah, but if you were like, it's like racism, but for countries, what would you call that? Hey, you guys, you guys do any of that there TikTok? <laughs> you guys don't, you guys TikTok? <laughs> I do not tick the talks. What about you, Kyle? You seem like you'd be hip on them TikToks. I, I have I have made one TikTok that got like 7,000 views. Oh, that's pretty uh, cool. And I've never touched it, but I do watch TikTok compilations on YouTube occasionally. Mm -hmm. 7,000 views is more than most of our videos. <laughs> Although I have... <laughs> that's I've, it. We should transition to TikTok. <laughs> I have heard they, they inflate their views. I can't remember where I heard that, but somebody was saying that. Um, I, I would be surprised, but... They probably um, inflate it the same way Facebook inflated their video views for years and basically caused the collapse of internet journalism. Uh, Anyways. It's barely functional has broken down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, I got TikTok the other day, what? and I, I, I'm not going to make TikToks, and I feel like it's just a stupid time waster because a lot of stuff on there is just st stupid. And even the good stuff is like badly formatted because they're just trying to hit that like TikTok attention span. Yeah. I feel like it would be great if you're running a business and you're trying to market or you're trying to build your own brand. But here at Subpixel, we are doing neither of that. So, <laughs> boom. Yeah, it was just it was just interesting to kind of take that corporate America, peruse it for a bit, you know. Do that. Get it. I hear the TV in our, my bedroom, and I thought it was people yelling, but I think it's Karen watching something. Hopefully, there's not people yelling in my bedroom. I thought you said but, Karen. Uh, was she's her... been up since like 5 a.m., and so she's like, "Oh, I won't try to fall asleep till like 10." So I'm wondering if she fell asleep, and now the TV's just loudly playing YouTube videos <laughs> in the bedroom. Oh, there's something up. very wrong with this coaster. Okay, my my game is glitching, and I'm very upset. Why don't you just leave and come back? Why don't you just shut your own face? <laughs> I'm glad you didn't tell me to leave, because I would have, and the server would have gone down. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, you know what? Okay, wait. Sorry. I paused the game. I got to save this. Oop. Okay, Oop. I was wondering why my coaster stopped building. Very important. Oop. This is episode two, part one. Man, we're doing really good. We're yep. up to 15, almost 1,600 guests. We're at 1,625 on my <laughs> I was about to say, is yours lagging? 1,770 on mine. Wait. Mine says 1,598. Mine says 1,725. Mine says 1,625. <laughs> I think you're getting network lag. Oh, yeah. You guys may want to log out and come back in because it sounds like you guys are out of sync. Okay, let me, let me try. We gotta get in sync like this. Should I save pants. on my end? No, no, no. I, I'm saving. You just leave it. Okay, yeah. so I can just I can just quit to menu and then hop back in. Yeah, because I think when Will okay. rejoined, he he resynced with me, which is the server. So that's why we both were yeah, showing sixteen twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, joining. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm back i'm at 1629 okay yeah. yeah yeah see that's the right uh, 1629 network desync yeah. detected wow back in that's classic. bonkers that the, the guest rate back in the out. saddle Ooh, stream mom had a good one it went from barely functional to non-functional real quick got him <laughs> somebody make a tiktok of that why, why are you we this gotta way get one of those mom. little elgato decks so we can have a sound you. Oh, I, I do. Uh, oh, Actually, I don't. One? Hey, you know what? Since we, we have nothing to talk about, I have this. Oh, you completely You completely keyed, you keyed your whole self out. <laughs> it's a magic trick. That's Hi. so weird. Bye. Um, I think if I hold it here. Oh. Oh, well, I, I got to put it in front of me. So it's basically, it's this free app that runs on your phone. 
and then you run it on your computer that has OBS, and it lets you do exactly the same thing Stream Deck does, but for free, and on your phone, and with better stuff. Mm -hmm. um, like it has a volume slider, which Stream Deck doesn't, even though it cost $150. Um, <laughs> so it's just... So so my roller coaster won't show me the lateral G's. It like starts loading it and then it goes away. Yeah, it's I, because it knows that you're trying to kill people. I don't know if there's a fix for that though. That's what mine was happening. I don't think there is a fix for it. Ian. Wow. Kyle, were you saying something? I was, and then I realized it was stupid. Or a uh, forethought that we've all been awesome. there, but. but. Speaking <laughs> of stupid, I feel like. I don't want to do this. I'm not asking anybody to put the effort into it. But I feel like a lot of our... We've got a lot of good TikTok moments if we just clip stuff out of videos. Oh, yeah, that's not... That's a lot not of a task I want to take up. I know. But we've got, a lot of good, we've got a lot of good stuff, considering the trash that's on TikTok nowadays. Nowadays. I'm acting like it was ever good. Okay. <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day, them TikTokers were real good. Italian police ride is broken down. Man, people are lining wow. up to get on Death Cab 5 Cutie. <laughs> what? Death Cab wow. 5 Cutie. Oh, what have you That's done? That's pretty good. Isn't there, isn't there a tree? Oh, here we go. You can make trees, yes. Isn't Build there a tree? Trees. No, there's a, there's a tree brush. You guys know about that one? I do know about the tree brush. Oh, I didn't know there was a tree brush. I manually placed those trees. Just like Unreal Engine 4. Wow! Tree. Bring it back to Unreal. That's... That's... Unreal. That's Unreal. There we go. <laughs> Hi. I'm Unreal. No, I'm sorry. I messed up. Hi. Hi. I'm real. Unreal. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'm confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. Stop saying Daddy. <laughs> what was it? But Daddy. But baby, oh, baby. Daddy needs his roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> no, sulfur. That's a roller coaster. Daddy doesn't care about his roller coaster. Daddy needs his roller coaster. <laughs> okay, you're saying things that I don't think you can take back. <laughs> I cannot tell where this coaster is. I will take me higher. Oh, there we go. Put a bunch of fountains in there. Cool. Love it. Sixteen hundred and fifty guests. Wow. That is also the number that I'm reading. You know what? Our ratings are Can going confirm. down. Confirm. So I'm gonna do some checks. Let's see what people are saying. A lot of people are saying I need to go to the bathroom. All right, I'm put a bunch of bathrooms. <laughs> bathrooms. The bathroom. I, I wish there was th there's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna wish what I want and then you guys are gonna tell me an idiot if, I'm an idiot if it exists okay you ready I wish there was a way to auto open a stand or stall as soon as you place there is a way that, to do that it's well, in your options menu are you are you serious yeah I've been using it automatically open shops and stalls it's under the twisty slide and automatically place staff is also oh, there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I already have automatically placed staff. Thank you. Well, then you're a big old bro. Hi. I'm a dummy. Uh oh. Hi. I made a Reese's Crispy Pots. Three. Needs a better name. Broken down. Too bad. What did I dream about last night? What did you guys dream about last night? Oh, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, Will gets to go first. What did you dream about? Uh, I don't. I don't remember it. But I think there was a carnival was in town. 
and then I had a house, and then I had two houses, and then there was a guy who had a car lift, but it was a portable car lift that he had in his driveway, and he had it set up dangerously because his driveway had like a 15 degree angle on it, and he just put like pieces of two by four under the car lift to make it level. <laughs> And then he had his car lifted on it, and I was like, that's real cool, where'd you get it? By the way, that's not safe, you're gonna die. And then I think I woke up. Uh, what about you guys? So you're a narc in your dream? <laughs> I cannot remember the last, like, really vivid dream that I had. Well, let's talk about dreams in general. Do you, do you guys typically remember your dreams, or is it, what's the percentage of remembering your dreams? I feel like probably like 30 to 40% is... Sounds about right. Stay, stays in my memory. Uh -huh. I'd say like 15 for me. I used to remember them a lot more, but ever since I got diabetes apnea, it's just not nearly as as much as it used to be. Is it is it because it's harder to sleep or you're sleeping better now? Um, I think because it's not every night do I get the same quality of sleep. Like it depends on like... Uh -huh the mask and how like good the seal is that night or if yeah. i move around a lot or if i have like sinus like or, or a cold or something like that so there's just so many more factors than the average person has to deal with as far as just like oh i'm yeah. just sleeping or it's like i'm sleeping with a machine so yeah. don't take that the wrong way i mean it's real um, sexy but i can understand the difficulty <laughs> i call it my my darth vader mask uh, entrance? Can I put the uh, entrance over? What about, what about you, Yosefitz? Do I have... What was it? Dreaming? Uh, yeah, dreaming. What's the percentage of dreams that you remember? Um, nah, it's like 4%, maybe. Okay. Like, I know I dream, but as soon as I wake up, I get a lot of... This actually happened the other night, but I get a lot of... I wake up thinking something's happening to me. So I, usually I get like I wake up and I, I think there's something, and then I'll like oh, wake Karen up, and like ask her if I can turn the lights on to check. <laughs> Wait a minute, or I'm sorry. Sometimes... Excuse me. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. We have to back up here. So you're sleeping, you wake up, I'm you sleeping. think there's a spider in your yep. head, and then you turn over and you wake up Karen. You say, Karen, may I turn the lights on, please? No, no. I wake up, <laughs> think there's a spider in the bed. She says, what's wrong? And I said, I think there's something in the bed. Can I turn the light on? <laughs> And I'm still like half asleep through it because I forget about it the next day. She reminds me. Can I turn the and light on? And then I like kind of remember it. And, and then the other thing I do is I wake up in the middle of the night and I think I see something like either in the clock or anywhere in the room and kind of freak, freak out too. I can't sleep with the door open either. Yeah. Murderers, man, they're coming for you. <laughs> Wait, can, Will, I you can I turn that. the light on? If you'd like, sweetie. Um, you guys ever you guys ever do lucid dreaming? I no. used to in college. I could do that, but well, that was before I had sleep apnea. Um, I've worked successfully like three times, mm -hmm. but because I used to keep like a dream journal, and I was really ever since Inception came out, I've been like fascinated with that. Um, but not anymore. I mean, I'm still I still like the idea of it. I just can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Jake, it sounded like you had something. No, I don't. I've never uh, had the pleasure. Um, so I, kind of like you, Kyle, I, I got into it for a little bit, and I got to a point mm. where I want to say a handful of times I did it deliberately and fully consciously. Maybe like five or six mm. times, where like I fully recognized I was in a dream, and I was able to control it. But the problem I had was I would get so excited that I would immediately wake myself up or very quickly wake myself up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I do like the light switch trick and I'd be like, <gasps> I'm in a dream, I could do anything. And I just start <laughs> running and I'd be like punching people and I'd be like throwing trash cans and then I'd wake up all excited. Um, but then I want to say for a couple of years, I got into this, I got into this really cool thing where I was, I want to, I want to say like semi, I think I was like subconsciously lucid dreaming, if that makes sense. So basically what was happening was I, I think, okay, I think the best way to describe it is one of the first times it happened was I was, I was in a dream and I was running and then I stopped and I was like, I'm thirsty. I really wish I had chocolate milk. And then I suddenly had a chocolate milk and I was drinking the chocolate milk. 
What? But that's pretty. But great. I did not fully, I did not fully consciously realize it was a lucid dreaming. But basically, whatever I thought or wanted to do, I could do. But I didn't know actively know that I was dreaming. But that was that was really good because I probably had like dozens of dreams like that, because then I could fully control it. But I was not getting too excited where I would wake myself up. So like I remember I had one mm. where I, I flew over Europe, for like an hour, like <laughs> in full control, like my body flying, and I was like, let's go to the Alps, and I was like, oh the Alps look pretty, let's go to Europe, let's go to Britain, and then I was just like <laughs> flying around. And it was so great. And then you wake up and you remember it in vivid detail and you're like, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. So the the one experience that I had that was really, really vivid was I had had an argument with my parents, mm -hmm. like a dumb argument in college over. I don't even remember what it was about. It was super dumb. And I dreamt about it. And it was like my parents were at me in the dream. And I just like I really realized that I had done this already. Like I was like, I've already had oh. this conversation. And basically what I did is I just, I like literally waved my hand and I said, stop and go away. And they like, did they like dissolved? Not like, oh, not like good. end game or uh, infinity war or whatever. They just like, like a, like a transition dissolve. They like, they Star away and I said, away. okay, yeah, exactly. I um, finally I like, killed right, you. <laughs> I, I am I am in a dream right now. And then and as soon as I said that, I woke up. Oh, yeah. And I was like, gosh dang it. Like, oh. I pretty consistently to this day, if I do remember a dream, it's usually something along the lines of I walk into a building and a director I had in high school runs up to me and is like, you have to be on stage right oh. now. And I'm like, I don't know what the script <laughs> is. Like what are we doing? <laughs> And that's, I, I feel like, at least three or five dreams that I remember. It's something like that. It's horrible. I hate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, I would, lucid dreaming is one of those things where it's kind of like, I mean, this is less, less relevant nowadays, but it's one of those things where it was like stoner talk in the 2000s where it was like, Weed, bro, it'll change your life. Uh, and it's like, it's probably not that great. This is just one of the few hobbies you have. But lucid yeah. lucid dreaming is actually really neato. And and like, like Kyle was saying, it's pretty easy to do. You just like, you start out like keeping a dream journal. You just remember things like flip a light switch. What are some of the other ones, Kyle, that are like, like you try to remember to do um, in a dream to test it? There's normally, uh, if you look at a clock in a dream, it's mm -hmm. an impossible time. Yeah, it, it'll say like it'll because it, cause it'll say like 16, uh, 24 and then you look at it again and it'll be like 64 or 19 or yeah. something like it like it won't be consistent. Um, and uh, that's that's a check you can do um, along um, with that. There's um, the reading. So if you try and like actually yes. read something, it's all scrambled. Yeah, it's like you're dyslexic in your dream. Um, yeah. There is one where you can literally like pinch yourself or like you press yep. into your palm i think um stuff like that there's there's a bunch of different tricks you can do but there's also like it it, it has a lot to do with keeping track of your dreams and doing those same checks in life so you yeah. get used to doing them in real life and then you end up doing them in the dream automatically yeah yeah i agree 100 percent. it's basically like the, the, the first times you'll do it, I, I think I, one of mine was the light switch. And I just got used mm -hmm. to always reminding myself that, especially before I was going to bed. And then in a dream, I saw a light switch and it was like, flip the light switch. Hey, and that's what is. kicks yeah. you. Yeah. So it's it's not that difficult, but it's pretty cool. Plus, it, it just gets you remembering your dreams more. And mm -hmm. dreams are cool. Dreams are cool, yeah. Dreams are awesome. <laughs> Bruh. Um, I remember I had a dream one time. This is one of my favorite dreams that I was going to the movies to see a new Quentin Tarantino movie. And I got there and it was so crowded that I had to sit on the stairs in the theater. And like the ushers were <laughs> with us, like watching too. And everybody was so excited for it. And we start watching this movie. And there were two things I remember. One, it was a mech movie. So it was like a big mech movie. <laughs> and number two... You know? The, it was a delayed title card. The title card didn't hit until 40 minutes into the movie. And when it did, the entire audience 
gasped because they were just, they loved it so much. They were just like, <gasps> the movie's barely even started. <laughs> <laughs> we're here and, for four, four more hours. Yeah, and to this day, I, I, I have like a treatment for my screenplay version of that movie <laughs> that I saw. <laughs> and it's just so good. Hi, Sarah Vasquez. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at that little puppy doggy. Cute. Um, I'm gonna find what's the what's the craziest? <laughs> is it hypercoaster or giga coaster? Is the I think hypercoaster is the one one that has more options, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do giga first. Why not both? I built the my my taxi coaster is a giga coaster. If that you can't do loops or anything, it's just a lot of ups and downs. Oh and, oh, it is. Oh, well then maybe I want to do yeah. hypercoaster. I do wrong. Oh boy. Uh, I need. What do I need? I don't think I don't think there are any janitors in my new section in the Mars Land section. You can because there's a ton of crap on the. Yeah, you can you can pick them up and move them. Okay, because we have like the highest amount we can have, right? Yeah, unfortunately. All right, I gotta find some janitors. Oh, I think I built this on the wrong side of the law. <laughs> wrong side of the law. You goofed it up. You made a mistake. You done did the wrong thing. <laughs> you okay there? What? Ian's losing it. Is that how the song goes? Yeah, that's exactly how the song goes. You goofed it up. You messed it up. You done did the wrong thing. Yep, that's it. It's me, the song. I want to see how tall this goes. Santa's special package is broken down. Oh no, Santa's special package. Oh no, <laughs> somebody check the package. Whoa, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> I don't like this version of Santa. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. It's me, no. Horny Santa. <laughs> Louis Park 1023. Hi, thanks for another puppy. We're getting puppies. Why are we getting puppies? We're getting flooded Is with puppies. Is this something on Twitch that we can't see? It's in the stream. Chat. I don't know if you guys have it open or not. Uh, just gonna, I had something really inappropriate to say. I'm just gonna let it go. Sounds what about good. Dogs? That's like the hardest thing. Will, what's the hardest thing about streaming? Uh, being hard all the time. <laughs> uh, See, that's that's an inappropriate thing you shouldn't say. Uh, sorry. Uh, the hardest thing about streaming is not constantly saying the F word. <laughs> um, that's pretty hard. Or worse words. That's that's honestly pretty hard. Um, can I do a... No, I can't. Damn you! Um, I think it's just not saying inappropriate things all the time. For me, that's real difficult. Yeah, that's definitely the worst part. I mean, the worst part is having to interact with people on, on the, in the chat, <laughs> obviously. So. I think you're saying the worst part is having to interact with you. Oh, well, that's 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 on, so that's yeah, unspoken. that's a gift. Yeah, it's a lesson in humility. Sorry, humiliation. Yeah, keep it together. Yeah. Crap, I built this roller co coaster wrong. Now everyone's going to hate me. I don't know about that. Going right. to? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> that was I'm rude. Sorry. Well, maybe you shouldn't deserve it so much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I shouldn't deserve it? <laughs> How do I deserve it? Can I desert it? We almost have 2,000 guests. I'm at 1835. One, okay, yeah, so we're still <clears throat> in sync. We're almost to Lincoln's assassination. I can't believe 1842. <laughs> I can't oh believe God. one of you guys named it Twisty Nips. What's wrong with what's wrong with that 
Yeah, I'm confused. I don't see a problem. This hurts. That's all I'm saying. You ever seen my nips? I hope to never. Twist these nips. You're gonna twist these nips. <laughs> <laughs> do you though? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Why don't you twist my nips? Burn Twist until they fall off. <laughs> no, no. Why don't you twist my nips? Max, max positive equal G's is 4.66. Wow, that's not that's, that's a lot. negative vertical G's is negative 2.36. Are you see, wait? Are you seeing how many it would take to actually kill a person, or the max in the in the I'm, game? I'm just looking. I'm looking at this coaster I built. Oh, you stupid butthole! Sorry, I messed up. I wonder if I could build how high can you build footpaths um pretty high high enough I'm gonna try and build a footpath that's taller than a roller coaster's drop like so you have to you have to walk up essentially the drop that you go down on the coaster. Oh, oh yeah, I think that depends that. on the coaster. But... <laughs> I think you could do that. I want to I want to punish these uh, passengers. Mm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punish City. And if that's gonna attract a different demographic. <laughs> the demographic we want, am I right, boys? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the I'm one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. No. <laughs> Just let me use this. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. <laughs> I honestly didn't mean for that one. I don't know how you did that, though. Like, you went from normal to maxed out immediately. That was a good one. What are we talking about? I was just talking about commission. <laughs> like this this stream's got a weird energy. <laughs> <laughs> this is every stream, Jake. Yeah. Every string. Oh my goodness! I oh Kyle, <laughs> I was like, I was, I was looking at oh, what wow. part, of, part of my ride, and I'm like, what are it's, these supports? It's, I'm like, what coasters up there? I'm like, no, it's the skywalk. It's Kyle's walkway. <laughs> we got to get interesting. I I'm creating an actual uh, iron curtain here. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's it's like an optical illusion, almost. <laughs> it's super weird. It looks like a scrim or something. Yeah. All right, OJ. Okay. Ooh, good OJ joke. I love me some orange juice. <laughs> Take me. Okay, Ian, I'm glancing over to the stream. What's this uh, contraption you're building over the water? Uh, I was trying to, I think I'm trying to get a bunch of height so then I can do a roller coaster that just loops around the entire park. Yeah, but is that thing you're building there not just going to flatten passengers into the, <laughs> into their seats? Well, it's a long ride, so I was kind of doing some forced hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to come off the ride in a coma. Right now, it takes, like, literally three minutes to get to the top of the hill. Um, I don't know. I'm just testing stuff out. I think I'm going to... Did you say first hibernation? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Bless you. We are the park with the best roller coasters. Ah, oh, we beat out Cedar Point. <laughs> I thought it was uh, Ma Magic Mountain. 
I heard a bunch well, of you're right. go there and Might die. Be. I only know that because I somehow stumbled upon uh, oh. Amusement Park YouTube, and they've got some interesting stuff. What is happening? Bad dog. Excuse me? Who's a bad dog? You're a bad dog. Oh, whatever. I didn't even want to talk to you. <laughs> Your mother eats cat poop. Can't confirm nor deny can my love for cat poop. Nor deny that it's delicious. <laughs> the excrement of a cat. Oh, like, no, the excrement. Can't believe this bit is still going. <laughs> I love excrement. Oh, the excrement. The French. Ah, oh, the French champagne. <laughs> oh, the French. <laughs> That's my favorite. Right. Doesn't he do it? <laughs> Action, Orson. Action. <laughs> <laughs> the director's my favorite part. <laughs> it's too the good. Is the extra bumps his arm that's holding <laughs> the champagne. So he just goes, ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The French thing. Have you ever seen the final commercial? It's pretty good. It's so short and it's mostly voiceover. The Orson Welles? Yeah. 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 Orson. Mm. <laughs> what a classic goofer. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 goofer. Top Besides 10 goofer Sutherland. Goofer <laughs> Sutherland. <laughs> Sutherland. <laughs> Ian really liked that you one. You got me. <laughs> Dang it. You done goofed her. You done goofed me. <laughs> What'd you say? Goofers. Goofers other than. Gonna go a lot of uh, mileage out of this joke. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like I got it, but the repeat made it even funnier. Goofers. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Don't say it. <laughs> it's me, Goober Sutherland. <laughs> Goober Sutherland. <laughs> this should not be <laughs> as funny as. Oh, I'm very sweaty on this one. I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> I'm Sutherland. Goober Sutherland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to star in that new damn 24 show. I'm Goofer. <laughs> Two times 12 is Goofer Sutherland. Oh. Goofer. Action, Goofer. Action. Action. <laughs> That's good. Oh, wow. That really took it Ooh. out of me, y'all. Right, I'll put it back. Ooh, I'm sweaty. That made Daddy sweaty. <laughs> Back to the silence of coaster design. <laughs> yes. Dude, my coaster is. Oh, my two, my twins are done. Oh, that's not as cool as I thought. You're having be. twins? It's it's my coaster. Oh God. Well, this ride is gonna kill people. Yeah, Same's. Aren't they all? <laughs> I want is even the point if we don't. Death is only the beginning. Death is just another path. To increasing the stock market. <laughs> Death is amazing. Oh. Hyper twister train. Hmm. Tell me about it. Hyper Twister Train. Super Tone Strike Back. That's yeah, Super Tone Strike. What? The band Not familiar there with the Super Tone property you're referencing. You guys never heard of the Super Tones? No. Surprised. 
Christian uh, ska band. That's going to be a hard no for me, bro. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're pretty good. There's also Five Iron Frenzy. I've heard of I know, them. I know. Five Iron Frenzy. Hi. Uh, can I just get a Five Iron to go, but please? My, my uh, CCM knowledge, DC Talk, and Reliant K. Okay and switch foot and that's about it oh man <laughs> i love lion k lion k is my favorite so good Ooh, 104 134 mile an hour boosters 2000 gas yeah those were the ones that i was messing with and i don't know how accurate that's we'll find out i changed the oh now it's working i'm gonna do a photo booth right at the end of the boost <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I came out like I didn't think it was funny, but it is actually funny. That's funny. Darn it, kitty! The damage doesn't look as bad out here. Oh. <laughs> well, so funny. Those are cool. Um, what do you guys think? You know how they have like the generic chatter lines in this game? What do you guys hear? One of them I hear is lose your cool. Lose your cool? Lose your cool? Uh, I didn't know. I thought it was all like simlish. I didn't know there was actual. But some of it like dial. sounds like it, you know? You know what I'm saying? I, I guess. Like there's, uh, what's, what's the other ones? One is lose your cool. Guys, just just let him have this. He needs a win. <laughs> Go first, the other one. <laughs> Damn. Damn it, Will! Action you just know how to Action. get me. <laughs> oh, no. That's so dumb. Hey, Will you telling me we only got 24 hours? Uh. My, uh, Karen and I keep saying, have you guys all seen Hail Caesar? The yeah. Coen Brothers film? Coen I Brothers film? Yes. But yes, I've, I've seen, seen it. it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, but we keep walking up to each other and going, uh, would the detour so simple? Would the detour yeah. That's bad. The the scene. Scene. That's the movie. Great. That scene's great, and then when they show it later and he looks at the camera and just goes, it's complicated. <laughs> 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 it's a great payoff. The detours is Hazel and I just this evening watched um, the 2009 remake of When a Stranger Calls. Oh, and it's bad. What? What? What's the premise then? Is that the Is that the one where there's like home home invaders? It's the one where a stranger calls. No, that's the hilarious. Oh, I'm surprised it got close. Um, but it is. <laughs> I have to imagine that it was pitched as like like a 20 minute episode of television and then someone was like well let's make it 90 minutes and then stretch, they couldn't actually do that stretch, so it's only 87 stretch. minutes uh, and it's still filled uh, with just like b-roll of the house that they're in <laughs> it's very bad real bad love it Ugh. action group I have a machine right that that it. It's on the castle. I thought Kyle okay. and I uh, are familiar with the uh, trebuchet. Oh, oh yes. Very Ooh, that's a story worth telling. Shut up, Ian. It's not what's, funny. What's the story? It's not as interesting Six as when we it up. died, Ian. <laughs> now that's a story <laughs> no. worth telling. Kyle, was it before fall break that we yes. would build that yes. the hall would build the trebuchet so yeah before every fall oh, wow. break the hall that we lived on um we'd get together and we would build a trebuchet and fling pumpkins uh, out by the baseball fields what they would yes. let you do that and that's the story yes that's yeah. pretty great that's bonkers honestly. kentucky is a lawless land 
Yeah, they um, they they don't really care <laughs> as long as no one dies. Oh my gosh, Jake, is this your blue roller coaster? Who's uh, roller coaster is this? The, is that Ian's? The, the crazy thing that the Ian one is building, that's going along. That's yeah, okay. his nightmare machine. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> basically building a better version of what Rick did. So. Nice. Wait, what did I make? Nothing worthwhile. I thought, I thought you were going to say exactly. Uh, Wait, you're making a better version of the train? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine with me. I want the seats to be dark red. Blood red. Ooh, I think I made that a little bit too high. Yo, I made some dope roller coasters. I hope they work. <laughs> I'm gonna watch them go. Oh, dang it. Oh, how do you make two roller coasters go at the same time? You gotta put them uh, touch to touch and just let the magic happen. <laughs> tip, tip, tip. Uh, synchronized <laughs> with adjacent stations. There we go. <clears throat> Can't, can, I cannot, wow. I can construct a roller coaster going extremely high, but once you get to the top height, it won't let you go down even after you level it out. Oh, that yeah. seems that seems not fair. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Who wants to Ian come see my lava coaster? What if you do one red, one orange? <sighs> Kyle, your view shut up. obstructing <gasps> my view. <laughs> what if you do one one is ice themed, one is fire themed? I was gonna do that, but the ice mountain's all the way over oh, here. Oh we we got twenty one hundred, almost twenty two hundred guests. Wow. Ooh. 2187. Oh. 90. Trebuchet ride 2 has broken down. Yeah, trebuchets. Okay. Can't wait for the report on these roller coasters. Oh, looks pretty good. Jake, your, um, your, hey. your, the bottom half of you is obscuring my box on the stream. And I didn't realize oh. it. Oh, I have no control. Oh, over you know that. what? That's, um, <laughs> the way we do Skype, sometimes it just, like, resizes it. Yes. Jake is just the star, all right? And he just wants... <laughs> Jake, get your bottom half out of Kyle's top half. Sorry. Wow, that's real specific. <laughs> Pacific, you think? Pacific Rim? It's a good movie. It the is a second good movie. one, not so much. Yeah, not the second one. Oh, I love the second one. We, well, uh... I'm just somehow... joking. I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh. Hazel had gotten... Um, tickets to an advanced screening of uh, Pacific Rim 2 was it Uprising was it called? Yeah so. uh, and um, she didn't want to go so I went with the butt and after the screening there was of course a guy from uh, Paramount oh, I think oh, it was, no. I don't know, it was one of those screenings <laughs> Yeah, with like, with like the, I'm like, this like, this movie comes out in a week. You're not making any changes to it based on what yeah. I'm telling you. But I, I didn't have the courage to face him because it was so bad. It was like when we did that screening. Uh, oh, I don't know if you were there for that, Jake. Um, we did that Hope Bridge screening. with. No, um, I was not involved in the production of Hope Bridge at all. They had, well, neither was I, but I went to the, I went to the screening. Or the, it wasn't even like a premiere. They were like, we're still editing it. Uh, give us your thoughts. And like, I asked a very simple question about the plot. And I was like, why did this happen this way instead of another way? Like, it just seems really weird. And like 10 other people raised their hands and were like, yeah, we were all thinking the same thing. And the producer at the front was just like, ah. And he like Overbay wasn't there, or he was there and then left, and then he, he didn't have he didn't like know the answer, and right. they were like they were like uh, that's that's just you know the internal logic of the film just works a certain way, and I was like yeah you just don't have a good answer. Huh. What's Ooh. logic? Oh, we should do a uh, well I don't I'm not saying we should do but. Uh, Subpixel Film Fest at some point. Oh my Show gosh. off all the all the garbage from our youth. Yeah. Oh, I got a bunch. Zach's got a bunch too. 
Okay, my my bit of the park is just getting obstructed by other c construction on all sides. <laughs> <laughs> um, between boxing between you Kyle's in. monster walkway and this this blue monstrosity that's totally ruining the view. <laughs> Gotta get them rides. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a ride? I'm I'm assuming the boat that uh -oh. these people arrive on because this is in the middle of the Atlantic or something, mm -hmm. and just seeing this on the horizon, <laughs> it would be intimidating, to say the least. But um, yeah, is there some HOA I can write to and, and complain about the construction <laughs> that's occurring? It's called just hitting delete on the coasters. Oh no! I can't wait. Is can that we what happened each to other? No. Totally. No. Thinks, uh, is there I not any sort of permissions off of you? No, I'm, I'm thinking it, that would be a weird. That would be a weird functionality if you had the ability to totally, delete yeah, or totally modify can. other people's. Yes, yeah, uh, so yeah. I can delete yeah. Ian's coaster because because wow. this is just like, it's basically just. It sees <clears throat> it as three cursors in a way. That's that's right. all it's doing. So what is with this DNA helix that's going past my monorail? <laughs> oh, that's part of the. That's part of the coaster. Who is responsible? If it can for make this? it. Oh no! Wait, it can't make it. I gotta, I gotta come back and redo that part. I'm trying to keep everything as compact as possible in well, my we, little strip. The thing is, we got so much room. No, uh, I know we do, but uh, I'm still trying. <laughs> but do we really? <laughs> what Jake's trying to say is you're ruining everything. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> my very. A very neat and refined aesthetic. Is there... Is no there one's a... going on my go-karts. No there... customers per hour. Is... Could you get, boy? We'll go, baby. What's wrong with it? Uh, it looks like it's busted. It says busted. four people on ride, but they're not busted. Busted. going busted. anywhere. Busted. Okay, I'm gonna Makes close it. What's wrong with this ride? People are just stuck on it. Okay, now it's open. Let's see what happens. A real good time, it's broken down. <laughs> oh. I need to look at, hold on, I need to pull up the list of what all the rides are called. Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, it's okay, yeah, he's not streaming. <laughs> we have two B-movie <laughs> giant spider rides. <laughs> oh, they're just called that, I thought someone named it that. Burning Hole 1, Burning Hole 2. Yeah, you got a problem with that? <laughs> We got a lot of broken down rides. Uh, we don't like to use that term, Jake. We prefer, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, disabled rides. Yeah. <laughs> I'm disabled. That sounds worse. Uh, it does sound know, worse. Better. Yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. It's too late now, but guys. Mr. Splashy's wild ride. That was me. But it's so I don't feel so bad as what I named mine. <laughs> you have to come over here and find out. <laughs> Splashing with splash or something. <laughs> Hold on. Where's this? I put fire in my volcano. That looks good. Oh, you're falling. LIM launched roller coaster one? No. Where's your freaking water right there? It is. Wow! Unspecified. Somebody, wow. Okay. Somebody renamed my roller coaster while I was working on it. <laughs> Who could have that been? Who could have that? Who could have that been? <laughs> Who could have? I'm surprised you didn't name it. Goofer Sutherland. <laughs> I, I, I thought to, but then I didn't know how to write Sutherland. I guess Sutherland's pretty easy. Yeah. No, shut up. I met uh, um, Donald Sutherland once. Donald Trump Sutherland? 
Oh, he's great. I guy. love Donald Sutherland. Man, his nature is a great movie. <laughs> Okay, how about we feel like I'm getting close to finishing up the blue coaster and then we'll save and call it. Does that sound good? Probably another 10, 15? Yeah, sure. Works for me. Yeah, no. We've been going for an hour 50. Your coaster's gonna... What's the ride length on this thing? <laughs> I don't know. I was I was gonna circle the whole park, but I decided just to circle the middle island. Because it's... it's How far? Oh. Kind of I think it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, in the campaign, it would depend on your money, but this doesn't... We don't have money. is a myth. If there's one thing we've learned from this quarantine, I don't think Seriously. anyone's riding my roller coaster. It's all an illusion. Kind of sad. Remember when so many people are riding my roller coaster as well. I feel bad. Well, if you shut up, <laughs> then we wouldn't have to listen. I think I'm going to try and kill my passengers right at the end of this. <laughs> It's just, I keep doing like those swirly things, and that just instantly gives it like a billion G's. The helix? So now we. No, I just like make it go back and forth rapidly. Yeah, I love those, but it's, it's definitely too intense. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. It's too intense. People always call me that. Swirlers. <laughs> too, too intense, Crosby. Cool. I got fire on my mountain. Fire mountain. Krakatoa. Crack. Uh -uh. I'm gonna have to just like. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I just had it. How do you build? How do you? Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put on the ground. You shift. have to dig. Yeah, hold down shift and drag. No. Oh, yeah. You're right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no! What sort of reviews are we getting? What are people saying about... Our, our quality is really I've already good. got some wontons, says Akio R. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> You're gonna have to want eat some more. more. Just specific, soup? Like, I've already got wontons. <laughs> this is stumbles what upon another wonton soup shop. <laughs> oh my god! Oh gosh! I already oh, got wonton soup. I hate this. Emilio G says, "I'm thirsty." <laughs> For what? I don't know. Excuse me. We're right. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Angie K wants to go home. Don't we all? Mm. <laughs> you stupid, stupid. I'm tired. I feel sick. Just looking at Lawsuit Attractor makes me feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, network network desync. desync. Uh oh. Okay. Come on. Orange you gonna barf still hasn't been fixed. Orange, you gonna barf? That was that was fine. Uh, well, it hasn't been fixed, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I just realized there's no. <laughs> I wonder, wonder what happens if I test this. <laughs> Does nothing? Yep, nothing happens. All Track right. is not complete. Let's see. I think. You're not complete. Let's bend left. Yes. Platform. One, two, three. Go. Entrance. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> okay, we're we're getting there. I'm on the first official test run of a Goofer Sutherland. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's been a while nice. since I've heard that. 
Oh, you know what would be really it's funny? Not a name, but who? Oh, I don't have uh, I don't have the wherewithal to do this. If we made a roller coaster in here and the side <laughs> profile of the roller coasters um lifting and falling sections modeled the unemployment curve for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That is a lot of effort. It's just I was looking at my roller coaster and I was like, oh, it looks like a chart. I mean, that's certainly one direction to go with it. <laughs> Favorite band. Actually, you know what? I, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a, a limb launched, whatever it is, roller coaster. That only launches from a station, right? So what if I just do like a hundred mile per hour yeah. monorail with multiple stations, but it's really just a limb roller coaster. <laughs> what if I could do multiple stations? I'll have, to, I'll have to check. Oh, dang, this look good. Feel good. <laughs> oh no, he didn't make it. Oh no, please don't crash. Testing? <gasps> Ooh, I saw that. I was, but I, I guess I took that second hill for granted. It's all good. I just gotta put chains on this section here. Two chains. Ch chains on your legs. Two chains. Oh, this looks real good. Well, I guess I could just... So far, the majority of my coasters are going up hills. <laughs> Very slowly. Oh, Death Cab 5 Cutie. We gotta get a mechanic over there. <laughs> Have our workers unionized? Is that the problem? Hmm. Well, Probably. this is Tesla land. <laughs> Did so... we rebranded? Re <laughs> Muskville. No, Ooh, that's I, something I else. don't want to. I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, but... Oh dear! <laughs> All right, I have inadvertently trapped the guest within my still under construction hedge maze. They oh, need to no. stay there <laughs> forever. <laughs> They're a part so, of this now. This this coaster only works if three sets of uh, cars push against each other using the uh, lift. Oh, wow. Is Sounds this the yellow like coaster? It's... Yep. Sounds problematic. But it works. It completed It completed a, a entire, you know, round trip. No. That should be called... <laughs> I feel like if it was five cars that it needed, <laughs> that should be called Death Cab 5 Cutie. <laughs> Oh, no, how, about, how about I just? Wait, I'll call, how I know what I know. What I'll call this one. Three I've got it. No, I, your gonna, Goofer I, Sutherland three, three I, I opened your Goofer Sutherland by accident. I I now unopened it. But oh, it's okay. It popped up on my screen for some. It didn't reason. mess up the test run. The main problem is it literally takes like yeah. two minutes to do the chains at the, at the front. Yeah. Okay, it's a good content. <laughs> <laughs> Darn tootin'. Shut up. I can't find twisty nips. Everybody loves Raymond, it's but it's great. Here. Oh, Railment. <laughs> Railment. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, I think we need to put more benches down. A lot of people feel sick. So? I don't know that I've been putting benches down. <laughs> Who doesn't like walking when they're sick? I'm walking when you're sick. I'm tricking when you're slick. Oh. I'm all together. Spook. Sick. Sometimes I feel real yeah, poopy. Yeah, sick. What? Oh, no! He just barely made it up that hill. I'm sorry, just barely didn't. Good has crashed. Yeah. It opens it every time. I don't care. Named it one time. <clears throat> We're all together, Goofy. We're Goofy Sutherland. 
<laughs> poop, poop. Scoop, uh -huh. scoop, scoop, scoop. <laughs> Hi, Magatha. I don't know what's going on over there. Magatha. Like a Magatha. <laughs> oh, Samantha R is leaving the park. Blending in and out. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's got the fake background. You want to see my fake backgrounds? Okay, I'll show you my fake backgrounds. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Um, oh, I have, this is Star oh, Wars. This is Animal Crossing. Yes. <gasps> this is Will and Karen. Okay, so <laughs> really weird. This is me. Don't pay attention to that guy back there. This is all me. This is blasphemy. This is Windows 98. Oh. You recognize this one? Oh, that's pretty good. Is this from The Office? Yeah. Is that from The Office? Which one am I doing? This one? I hate that. It's so, so good. Much. It's the worst. I wish I had unpleasant photos of you. It's called Facebook. <laughs> Where do you think I got that one? Facebook. All right, sorry, folks. We gotta we gotta keep going because this is. Uh, I just gotta finish this. Gosh darn. Dingle weeping. Dingle hopper and ride. Dingle hopper. Goober? Oh, what is this thing? Oh, that looks terrible. This is a pretty kitty. Stick with that. I can't bloody have a picture of me and Karen. <laughs> you think I can pick two <laughs> noses simultaneously? Probably. Oh, oh. You could pick three There's if you one. really tried hard enough. <clears throat> I did it! There you go. Rock on! Woo. Um, and I have to say, yeah. like usually in most games, he does a lot better than us. But Jake's sucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Spaghetti mm -hmm. town over here. Um, Nobody's riding my rides. Oh wait, those two people rode them. Do you have anybody on your side of the park? You don't really have a lot of people on your park. Mm -hmm. Why don't you uh, there's only do some paths from the main rail station? I don't want to do paths from the main rail station. Man. There oh. is so much vomit in the rail station. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, wow. Okay, handyman number one. Your sole job is to clean <laughs> this area. <laughs> We're about to hit 2,500 guests, y'all. We got, hey but I think we really should be hitting max guests and max park rating. So, heck yeah! Oh, wow, that's just that's a crazy, that's a crazy, crazy coaster that I built. That's you don't have to brag about it. Terrifying. It's just rocketing you all over the park. Uh, Stream Mom says the center island looks like a mass of cords connected to a server that hasn't been organized at all. Oh no. It's going to happen again. Oh, thank you, Stream Mom. So supportive. Oh, no. Goof for Sutherland keeps exploding in the. the Interface keeps showing up on my screen. Yeah, right, as it happens. <laughs> I did it again. You done goofed? Or Sutherland? Done goofed. Done goofed. Goofer Sutherland. Hi, I'm Goofer Sutherland. No, it's. And I, I'm running for America. I'm Sutherland. Goofer Sutherland. Hi. I'm a mass murderer. Goof for mass murder. We're here getting a lot of mileage from this bit. <clears throat> um, how are you guys feeling? I feel like I need another 10, 15 minutes to do this roller coaster. Is that okay with you guys? I'm 100% I'm done, but I'm having fun. So Yeah, maybe another hour, hour and a half. <laughs> Just kind of get. No, no. Oh, no. I think I need this here to be. 
I thought that was it. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's this. Good coaster. I don't want, I don't want to build that. Put it there. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. And then I do. Just slide up. Up. <coughs> Okay. Why is it closed? What? Oh, Mars is looking good, Kyle. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Why can't I open? I'm I'm at a loss as to why I can't continue this footpath. That's what doesn't make sense to me. Yes, that's what I want. Yes, there we go. You know what? One of the things I love about this game, there's a couple other games that do this as well, is you pop when you when you want to analyze or look at things, you pop open a window and then you can drag it around and resize it wherever you want it. And then you can leave it open. I love that. Um, Banished does that as well, where oh, you can like oh. open up. And Banished is it. such a good game. Love, oh. I just love that aspect. <laughs> no, no guests are thinking about my ride. <laughs> Boom! Hey, whoever wants that, there's cotton candy up there. But you gotta hike. <laughs> where, where is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Will, <laughs> you got two people going there. Want Kong King, you gotta hike. You know, I, I was thinking about doing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 or a more recent one that lets us ride things first person, but I, I really appreciate the simplicity of this. I yeah, do I appreciate the simplicity of this. Three three is fun and I'm interested I'm interested in world to see if they've gotten the bugs hammered out. Mm -hmm. Although I've heard um Planet Coaster is kind of the de facto champion. Yeah, I've heard that that's a lot better. More stable, I, more I have it, but I have not to uh, complete it. How can I force a handyman to fix something? Fire him. Cut his wages. Uh, <laughs> I don't. So if you open up the employee panel, you can see which one is heading there, and then you can pick him up and drop him. I think that's Tell easier. Tell him he loses insurance if he doesn't. Yeah. Tell him we'll kill his family. <laughs> Mean. Is this merry-go-round finished testing yet? Good grief. Grief, Charlie Brown. What? And nobody rides these roller coasters. Oh, fine. There's a, like a, so, a subset of people who are just constantly riding my horrible roller coaster. <laughs> it's pretty great. Call them masochists. <clears throat> no, they're not wearing leather. Hey, Will? Yes, Cooper. Solid. Solid joke there, buddy. Thank <laughs> you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. But, uh, Will? So buddy? Yes, ma'am. Don't you ever talk to me again. Who? You. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Yummy. What the hell? Mm, yeah, it... Yummy. Ooh, it says I disconnected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi, Jake. Hey, <laughs> Jake. Oh, oh, a thing popped up that said disconnected, no data, but I'm still in. And I oh, seem to, no. I can still interact with them. No, you want to leave, because that means you're just on your own personal save now. Oh, okay. Quit the menu. I also seem to be borked on the Skype interface in the server. Oh, yeah, it's... 
I don't know why it does that occasionally. I just have to go in and fix it. One second. Okay, I am back in the server. I'm seeing you do some construction on your nightmare ride. Excuse me? That doesn't sound like my your ride. Night, your, your, your fun, fun times uh, uh, guess in guess count check? 2487. 2496? Yeah, you're still close. My park's doing better than yours. Yeah. <laughs> so I've put two mechanics on either side of this ride, and they're walking up to it and then walking away. So you should use. <laughs> but it's definitely you use the... broken down. Okay, but if you open the is it because it's a bad if ride? If you open the employee menu, you'll see who <laughs> who is assigned to that ride, who is responding to the call. I do not see anyone. Hold on. Employee? Like the staff menu? Right? Um, yeah. Isn't there like a list where you can do like current status? Yeah, I mean, it says responding to... Responding to... Okay. Yeah, he's right here underneath of it, and he's just walking back and forth. Well, can he path to it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. Woo. See, Stream Mom likes these. He says, I love this so far. These streams are fun and relaxing to watch. They're pretty nice. Thanks, Stream Mom. Stream Mom, how are things for you? How are things going? Wee. My hand hurts from clicking <coughs> so much. 2,500 guests. Boom, I just made an awesome ride. And a weird thing where it says a ride is the the Oh it broke down. Sorry. Never mind, never mind. Thought it was glitching. Glitching in the kitchen. Man, people are lining up to go into my hedge maze. <laughs> wow. They cannot get enough of it. It's true. Uh, allow more, more than maximum people. Go. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna say 50 people can be in this maze at once. It's just <laughs> chaos in there. It's a free for all. Boom! I built a water ride that circles my entire island. Oh, you did. Does it work? You did, didn't you? <laughs> People are going to be on there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's going to take a long Will, time. Will, your cotton candy thing is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> clouds. It's the only cotton candy made in the clouds. <laughs> We're going up there. They're making I, sales. I, I like your, uh, your death hell coaster thingy. Thank you. Oh, I didn't change the color of the thing to be red yet. Yeah, people are legit. Ten cotton. I've sold ten cotton candies. <laughs> and what's up with this bit where the texture didn't load in underneath the. Uh, that's the checkered. The transparent thing. background. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to export that information booth as a PNG. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, Stream Mom says things have been boring recently, so he's been trying his best to keep himself occupied with games and YouTube. What? What games would you guys recommend? I'd, I'd say, like, free or super cheap games that you can try out nice and easy. Um, on the PC? Uh, I would say PC. I think Stream Mom also has a Switch. What what consoles do you guys stream on? I mean, there's some free games, like Warframe and stuff, but I think most free games will be on PC. Um, Train 1 on Goofer Southern hasn't returned to the station yet. <laughs> oh, it's because it's still going. <laughs> I just got a warning. Man, I can't pop balloon. I'm very sad. Um, I think um, now's a good time to just do like a free to play sampler. So I would like try out like Warframe, Hearthstone, 
Maybe try like League of Legends or Dota 2. Um, you know, get some Fortnite in there. I'd say just like do a big sampler platter of free to play stuff. What are some, what's some other free to play stuff? PC, PS4, and Switch. Oh, there's that, what's that one called? Um, it's like a Dark Souls like game, but it's Japanese and you like start out as a skateboarder and you climb in a tower. You guys know what I'm talking about? I have no, no idea what you're It's called like Prepare to up. Die or something. It came out a couple of years ago. Mm. Oh, Let It Die? Yeah, I think Let It Die. That's supposed to be good. Oh, I just have this toilet bowl at the end of this ride and I love it. Wow. I, I did it, I completed a circuit. Uh, horror. You made it? I did. I don't know what the settings are. Horror movies. Any horror movie recommendations for stream, Mom? Uh, recent or older? <clears throat> Say both. Uh, Hazel and I just watched The Lodge on, I think, Hulu, but it may have been on Amazon Prime, and that was uh, that was very good. Um, the Exorcist, if you haven't seen it, it's a classic. It, it's still very good. Um, the Invisible Man was actually really good. Oh, Invisible yeah, Man was that. really good. Oh, the new one? Yeah. And then that's on video mm. on demand now. Um, the Lighthouse, if you're into surreal... Oh, I want to see that. ...very uh, off-kilter indie horror. Um, also, uh, The Witch, what we're talking about. Same yes. Oh. I love The Witch. Yes. Oh, I really liked... It's not for everyone, but I really liked Dr. Sleep. That oh, you know, my, my friend said that was good. I have not seen it yet. I very, very much liked it. Oh, and the director's the director's cut's good, too. We just watched something that I got to the end of it, and it said directed by Mike Flanagan. And, uh, Hill House? No, it Hill was House? it was, uh, an, it was a, a, one of his earlier films, I came to realize. Um, and I cannot remember what it was. Uh, what was the premise? Yeah, I'm, I'm literally not remembering anything from it. Oh, uh... Gerald's Game? You no, know, it wasn't Gerald's game. It was earlier than Oculus. Sorry. Oculus. It was Oculus. Yeah. Um, that was fine. <laughs> he's got. He's got to get his chops in there somewhere. Um, um, I, I would recommend. There's a Japanese horror movie from the late '70s, early '80s called House. H O U S E. <gasps> a U S E. That is very good. Very good. Is that? Am I? Are we thinking of the same movie? House Who? Oh boy, I'm gonna. That's uh, that's racist. Bro. I I, I <laughs> no. I hate when people say that. No, because it, you're not saying "houseu" as if it's a Japanese word. You're saying "house," how Japanese people mispronounce it. <laughs> no, I was. I'm legitimately talking about like if I had a. I don't know if we're talking about the same. Yeah, movie. it's the same. It's the same movie. Um, it's really good. It's, it's not necessarily a horror movie kind of just like an action movie with elements but overlord i really liked i had a good time oh that's on my list I've been thinking about it's I, I really liked it like it was I, I went in with super low expectations and was kind of blown away at how decent it was mm -hmm. and i just had a um what about some horror games i would recommend uh palmyra orphanage terrifying <laughs> the scariest game i've ever played how far did I get? Maybe 15 minutes in? I couldn't handle it. That game was too yeah. much for me. Um, I am 30 minutes into Alien Isolation, and I've been 30 minutes into it for about three weeks now because I'm too scared to play it. I, I got so surprised by that game because I played it as part of Spooky Pixel, and I was, I was not scared at all. There was something about it that really? didn't take with me, but every other game we played for Spooky Pixel, I was terrified to the point where I kept having to like stop and like not want to do it anymore. So I always play at night, and I have, like, I don't know, I, it's something about it. I, I watched Alien when I was really young, so it still oh. sort of, like, terrifies me. Um, gotcha. Um, and I, just something about being in that world, like, virtually being there is just really unnerving to me. Yeah. I am a, a big Soma apologist, though that's not so much like a jump scare game as a, a brain teaser. Um, Are there jump scares in it at all? There's a couple of moments where you're being 
chased by things. I don't know. I don't think there's any jump scares. See, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like. Beast. I don't like. But, some, I don't like knowing something is looking for me. There's also. It was in early access several years ago, and I. I haven't seen it leave early access. But there was a game that a friend and I played called Knocked, which is a top-down uh, horror game, but it's presented like you're looking through like you're looking from like a drone or from a satellite so it's all like um like black and white it looks like a like a military ui and you're commanding mm-hmm. a little person hmm. going through the land is it anything like eye in the sky uh no it is uh it's in some there's like a post-apocalyptic element to it with there's there's big monsters and stuff but uh, Ooh, okay no, I saw Eye in the Sky like two days after I saw Hardcore Henry, and I don't know if I could have picked two more dichotomous movies. Yeah, to see. So I actually really liked Eye in the Sky. Um, oh, I loved it, but yeah. it was I left the theater feeling real bad. Yeah, it's not. Ian, I just want to say that movie is spelled H A U S U, so I thought it was pronounced no. Hausu. So I don't think that's the don't right come spelling. At me. It is. It's the Japanese spelling of it. Boom. So, anyway, the Japanese are racist about the Japanese. <laughs> yeah. And how's your coaster going? <laughs> oh, it's done. I'm. I'm just. Let's. Because I. I just looked at the clock and realized it's 11:30. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, so another hour. <laughs> Wait a minute. Man, this monorail okay, is really it's, going. It's called House. And then in Japanese, it, no, I know. Uh, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Japanese has Japanese characters, but in Hepburn romanticization is a system for the ro- romanization of the Japanese language. It's Haosu, according to Wikipedia. Right. On the it says H O U S E. No, I, I'm just yes. saying that's how it was. The movie was presented to me. I wasn't just saying house in a Japanese accent. I okay, that's fine. I just I I know people who say that to me, and I'm like, you mean house? They're like, no, house. And I'm like, no, no, don't, no, don't do that, don't do that. Um, no, no, no. Trying to think of a good example of that. Another example of that. Um, Ian, that's what that's an example. It'd be like if there was a Mexican movie called Tomato, and you went, oh yeah, that movie Tomato. You're like, no. <laughs> no, don't pronounce it like that. No. Whoa. Don't do it. What do you mean, machete? Though. Actually, yeah, machete is a perfect example of it. Good example. Isn't it pronounced machete? It's not machete. Oh, no, actually, no, that's, a, that's an example of where it's appropriate to pronounce it as they want you to yeah. because the pronunciation is built into the movie. Anyways. Um, hey, it's Spy Kids. Let's do a quick checkout. Uh, Jake, I'm looking at your beautiful land here. You want to talk me through it real quick? What's some high points that you've done this stream? Oh, what did I... Okay, so I built this, this time. I built... Ooh, I zoomed out too far. Um, basically everything from the go-karts over. Because um, I think all I built last time was this wooden coaster and the mm-hmm. go-karts and the the observation tower and this launch coaster and then everything from then the go-karts to the hedge maze is new yeah that's that's great you got a crazy crazy new maze yeah you're pretty quick at building yeah. coasters that's good stuff i played a lot of the campaign yeah. since the last time to just get my to uh, knock the rust off my fingies yeah um well I, I see your dual coaster over here Thank you. Looks fantastic. That's my dual coaster. Yep. Um, you got your uh, cotton candy hole. in the sky. Cotton candy in the sky. There's this giant uh, tower sticking out of the volcano as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, pretty neat and nifty. And you got this. Uh, and then I I built this whole winter wonderland. Oh, that is nice. Which I think is pretty good. It's lovely. And then I also uh, I built this uh, water. water ride that goes around my entire thing. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so I did... Is that like a lazy river kind of thing? Yeah, it is. So I did this mountain. I spruced up my lake a little bit. I did the mountain. Put a little Virginia reel coaster in it so you can see it's in there. And then I did... Uh, Goofer Sutherland. <laughs> 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 Which is this giant no. blue roller coaster here. Um, and so Kyle, looks like you got... Oh, you got this monorail? 
Yes, that connects uh, the bottom half of Marsland to the top. Wow. And it's currently very backed up because a lot of people are using it. And then I have a haunted mansion, a merry-go-round, a uh, crazy castle mm -hmm. thing, and then two coasters. Uh, one of which is called Three's Company because it takes three mm -hmm. uh, That's good. cars to, to push them up. And then the other one is called uh, Orange You're Gonna Barf oh, because yeah. that crazy. it had to be. Uh, fantastic stuff, y'all. Um, folks, I think that's going to do it for us tonight. We are Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of content on there, including... Uh, Jake, what was the video that came out this past Monday? I believe it was on Prey. Yes, this last Monday was um, a video looking at the composition of the soundtrack for Prey, which just celebrated its third anniversary on the 5th? It was earlier this, it was, I think, the first week of May. Got it. Um, and, uh, yeah, Mick Gordon's name is in the papers as of recent. <laughs> uh -huh. So we said, well, let's make a video about the score he wrote for Prey. That sounds fantastic. And... You can find us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Mixer at Subpixel Team. Um, we like to post on there about streams upcoming, like we teased this stream this afternoon, uh, projects we support, interesting news items, all sorts of information, stuff like that. If you're watching this, if you've made it this far, please give us a like, comment, subscribe, follow, any way you can interact with this here video. It tells us two things. Number one, that you like this piece of content, and number two, that we should make more stuff like it. Um, in terms of a personal note, uh, Jake, where can people find you and your content? Oh, at underscore Jake Terrio on Twitter, Jake Terrio Music on SoundCloud, and at Mean Mean Stride on Instagram to make it complicated for everybody. Kyle, where can people find you? I'm on Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. And William, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me in a dumpster behind a Chinese restaurant, or you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Mm -hmm. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, uh, angrily tweeting about Torrance and happily tweeting about Gundam. Folks, I think that's going to do it for this stream. Um, how are you guys feeling about Subpixel Land? We're at 2,656 guests. We currently have a park rating of 783. It's episode two. I think at this rate, we're probably going to do about seven or eight episodes. You guys feeling good? I'm feeling mm -hmm. yeah. fantastic. Well, folks, I just want to say thank you for watching. And gentlemen, thank you for joining. It's been another great stream. We'll be back uh, Saturday. We'll definitely be back 9 p.m. Saturday for Fiasco. That's right. Last time we played Fiasco, it's a collaborative storytelling RPG. It went really, really well. So we're doing a repeat. We're doing it all over again. It's going to be even funnier this time, I promise. Will, are you planning any streams between now and then? uh no monday is my next stream okay well then folks i think that's going to be it for us thank you guys so much for watching we look forward to seeing you on youtube